My project is called Listening Across Time and Geography, the Study of Sound in Prehistory. And I'll be giving a talk in a colloquium in a couple weeks here called Exploring Sound in Archaeology. So my topic is really striving to examine a kind of experience dynamic of human life that's fundamental, sound. It's around us. It's in our bodies. No matter how we hear or feel it, it's a part of human experience that's been a constant throughout human time. And this has been neglected in archaeology. There are obvious reasons it's difficult to study something that's, that's ephemeral or something that is, again, this kind of a dynamic that changes in time. So in my own scholarly work for about a decade, I've been studying sound, especially in Andean archaeological context. So I've worked on a project at Chavín de Huantar in the north central Sierra of Peru uh, with Dr. John Rick and a team from Stanford, and also re more recently on a project at Huánuco Pampa, which is an Inca ceremonial administrative city, um, which begins to be historical. Primarily, I'm interested in without historical or written information, how do we get at something that's experiential? So we can actually look to acoustical science. We can look to how spaces transform sound. You're hearing it right now with this microphone as I get closer or come farther away. You're hearing things that we can measure, but we have multiple ways of understanding. And so one of the things my project does from an anthropological perspective is looks at this kind of multiple ways of, of talking about, discussing, reconstructing, experiencing something so that we can present multiple forms of understanding of a phenomenon that is experiential so that it has individual components. It has shared social experience value. So my project is set again in abstracting these kinds of immediate sorts of experiential things from physical material remnants of very ancient times and places and human activity. But it does have present day ramifications. And one of those aspects that my project addresses is how we share knowledge about these things with digital technologies, with the internet, with sound files and video and media and ways of sharing reconstructions. I think there's a, a strong tendency to present an archeological interpretation as a fact. So by interrogating all these different forms of understanding, we can actually present multiple simultaneous ways of interpreting or understanding sound sonic reconstructions. And I think that has a lot of value for expanding archeological discourse about how we present data and reconstructions with context, with information, share it with larger scholarly and public communities. So uh, my, my project tries to address all of these issues and also present my own uh, research. <clears throat>